Hello, this is Stefan and today I'm showing you some front-end stuff from Grafana Labs that I prepared together with my colleague Emil. For the front-end we now have Grafana Faro to instrument browsers and collect metrics, logs and traces. And we do have XK6 browser to do load and performance tests for the entire application starting in the browser. First, let's talk about why browser instrumentation is important. Today, a lot of stuff and logic, especially related to user experience, is going on in the browser. After all, everyone accesses their web application with some browser of some kind. You definitely want to know how well your applications perform in a browser. That's why you'd want to collect web vitals, which are a set of web standards for browser performance. You also want to know if an exception happens in the browser, in your JavaScript, that would never have hit the servers and thus you would have never noticed. Another reason for browser instrumentation is to complete the picture with end-to-end -end tracing, which allows you to follow a request from the browser through your services and middleware down to the database and back to the browser, collect metadata and track its performance. This can be achieved with Grafana Faro, an SDK that allows you to send browser telemetry to a front-end collector with just a few lines of configuration. The front-end collector can be hosted locally using the Grafana agent, but is soon available as an endpoint in Grafana Cloud. It will then automatically store your telemetry in Grafana Cloud Logs and Grafana Cloud Traces from where you can access it uh, with Grafana as you're used to. Here's a few useful links to get you started with Grafana Faro. You can either start with logs and measurements alone or add another library based on OpenTelemetry to enable tracing. Now, why is browser-based load testing important? If you don't test your application in the browser, you will never know what the real experience of the user is and you won't know how to interpret your browser telemetry that you're collecting with Grafana Faro. Using K6 for protocol-based testing and browser-based testing allows you to cover tests for the whole stack end-to-end. -end. The benefit is that you're not only receiving metrics, logs and traces as results, but visual results such as being able to follow what's happening in the browser and how it looks like, or taking screenshots in certain parts of the script to check what the end user is seeing while the system is under load. It's even easier to get started with XK6 browser. Just download the binary, write your test and run it. Soon, this functionality will also be available on K6 Cloud. Now, let's jump into the application and the demo. So I have a uh, ap webshop application here and if I click a, a button here, nothing really happens. And um, if I want to debug it, I go into my console, click it again, and I see that I have a JavaScript function here, do something cool that is not defined, and hence whoever is monitoring that web shop would have never noticed. So now with Grafana Faro, that uncaught reference error is being sent uh, to the backend as an exception, and I will notice that. Now let's try to buy some kitties from this web shop. Uh, going to the shopping cart, uh, checking out and paying. Uh, successfully happened. I can also do the same from a different browser. I'm now using Firefox, trying to buy some kitties here um, again in Emil's shopping cart, checking out and paying and uh, surprise, surprise, for some reason uh, it was, uh, it, we, we experienced the error code 999, mainframe on fire. Please try again in a few seconds, trying to check out again and I successfully checked out. That error that, that I couldn't check out uh, wouldn't have caught uh, the backend, it wouldn't have seen that uh, coming in my backend observability. So with front-end and browser telemetry being sent to my monitoring application, uh, I can now see that uh, and, and uh, see what's happening. 
So for example, if I now refresh my uh, dashboard for holistic web shop monitor uh, monitoring, I can see uh, not only the standard endpoint health, the four golden signals for the endpoints, my logs and some other data about logs. Um, I now also use the web vitals and the exceptions um, based on the dashboard that is included in Grafana Faro to also monitor my front end. If I want to go, um, if I want to get some more details, I can uh, go to the actual dashboard that is included with Grafana Faro um, and see what's happened, what's happening here in more detail. I can also drill down to the exceptions that were happening. For example, um, when I go here uh, and, and choose this uh, error code 999 main frame on fire, then I can see it happened to email. It also happened to, to me. Uh, it, in, in the end, um, when I choose email, I can see which browser it happened, how often it happened and which browser version um, it happened on. So I can get a lot of uh, additional metadata. Now, if I want to test that, um, this flow, and I, there's uh, probably a few more uh, issues related to, to that web shop, then I would just start uh, a script, a XK6 browser script that I, that I uh, created. So is that um, executing a backend scenario as well as a front-end scenario uh, in parallel. The backend will be, will be testing with uh, 20 virtual users and the front-end is testing with one virtual user where I actually can also see the browser. So it will uh, create a new browser window, it will open a, br uh, a browser window, uh, it will put some cats into the shopping basket, it will click on other elements in the, uh, in the user interface and uh, then it will uh, go to the shopping cart, check out and do some of these uh, things automatically, repeatedly uh, that I've uh, just shown you uh, and producing funny uh, error messages uh, in the way that we then can, after the test is finished in about one minute, I'm running the test for one minute, that we then can observe in the webshop monitoring. Let's just finish this test, get a, a lot of cool results as I would get from a normal K6 test. Uh, go to my monitoring. I can see um, the test was running successfully in the last minute. Here, there's a bunch of more requests. Um, I can see here the service map uh, doesn't start with the webshop front end uh, server. It actually starts with the webshop browser. The requests go from the browser to my front end server, to my back end servers, the shopping cart, the products API, and uh, the webshop database. So if I wanted to see uh, an end to end trace, I just go here search for the webshop front end because obviously if a request starts in the front end then um, it also um, yeah it, it's included and then i can uh, immediately see um, the start in the webshop front end hitting the webshop service hitting the product service going back i can close this to have more oversight um, hitting the database with a select statement going back to the webshop um, hitting the shopping cart service and hitting the database from the shopping cart service again. End-to-end uh, -end tracing. Now let's revisit. We have uh, a new, um, we have new web vitals and exceptions that we can include into our monitoring based on Grafana Faro. Um, here's a short explanation of these web vitals based on, on the documentation. Uh, and we can also run XK6 browser tests to automate uh, the creation of this telemetry. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.